Hello, white people. I hope you are buckled in. This is an article I found on foxnews.com. It's dated June 7th, 2022. (laughs) Washington Post op-ed asks if it's time for black people to flee the country. (laughs) Jonathan Capehart was named associate editor of the Washington Post in March. Washington Post columnist Jonathan Capehart explained that his fear of crazy white people could motivate him to leave the country in a new op-ed on Tuesday. The article, Why Black People Are Afraid of Crazy White People, focused on how Capehart's concern about the growing number of crazy white people is forcing him to consider fleeing. Let me try to explain. Things felt so dicey during the Trump years. Okay. (laughs) I half joked that my husband and I might have to reenact that scene from The Sound of Music and flee the country. (laughs) They'll never leave us. Now an alarming new report from the Southern Poverty Law Center shows that my Operation Von Trapp might need to go live. The ranks of crazy white people appear to be growing and the rest of us don't know what to do about it, he wrote. He primarily cited the Buffalo mass shooting in May, even though I don't think the shooter was white, as a factor in his concern, referencing a WAPO poll that showed a majority of affirmative action Americans now fear white people to an extent. 75% of affirmative actioners worry they or a loved one will be physically attacked because they are affirmative action He cited, 70% of affirmative action Americans think at least half of who white Americans hold who white supremacist beliefs. 75% of affirmative action Americans say white supremacists are a major threat to affirmative action Americans. Despite this perceived threat, Cape Hart criticized the suggestion to arm himself, claiming that Second Amendment rights are not afforded to affirmative action people. God, this guy's an idiot. The right to self-protection, let alone the right to bear arms, doesn't exactly apply to affirmative action people, he wrote. Think about it. Imagine I get a gun for myself, or for self-protection, not that I would ever would, because I don't feel unsafe, but stay with me. A situation arises in which I use it to protect myself, but then the cops arrive, see a gun, fear for their lives, and, well, the rest writes itself. (laughs) Remember Philando, or, yeah, Philando Castile? We can't win. Oh, is this the guy on the right? That What's that thing on the left? Man. I think that's him. So, no, I won't be getting a gun because I don't actually feel afraid. I'm just full of shit. Ever. But would I actually leave the country for my own protection? It's a question many people of color have been pondering the past several years, he explained. Oh, please do. I'll pay your way. Massive increase in affirmative action Americans murdered was a result of defunded police movement. Oh, that's a different article in itself. While he admitted that crazy white people are unlikely to convince him to leave the country. Damn it. Capehart assured other marginalized people that it is not out of the ordinary to be scared. Sure, we can vote and organize and change hearts and minds and all that, but we must. But I don't blame. And of course, it always moves but I don't blame us marginalized people for being scared. The warnings of a potential loss of freedom, liberty, and life are omnipresent and unrelenting. Like being in the middle of Times Square with every sign flashing, you are in danger, he wrote. Ah, okay, there's a picture from Buffalo. Capehart has frequently warned about the threat of white people and conservatives in both Washington, the Washington Post and on his MSNBC program. Oh, boy, he's got a platform also on the TV set. In September, he claimed that the mega and the domestic threat were more worrisome than ISIS or the Taliban 20 years after 9-11. Well, golly. Look at that. Affirmative actioners say that they're scared and they got a plan to run away from this place, but they'll never leave us. They're attached to us at the hip, unfortunately. All right, white people, that's the damage for now. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to your thoughts below.